morning all welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to all the new subscribers we're uh, just doing a quick video today we're across at um, up near Sherbrooke collecting a load of uh, uh, I think it's yogurt from a milk factory but um, you can just see over the far side there these uh, robotic fork trucks there's nobody driving them they're just bobbing around and uh, picking up the and dropping it off Anyway, nobody seems to know where I need to be to load at the moment. So I'm just sat outside in the truck in the park, which you may be able to see if I cover the light a bit. There you go. I'm sat over there. Uh, this chap here has just said, hang about here for five minutes for his colleague who will be back. And hopefully they'll get me sorted. There's the trucks work, uh, the four trucks working. Well, we've come to the other end of the building because I saw a bit of a map that uh, seemed to show um, loading bays at this end and I've been eventually told by the miserablest bitch in the world to go on to bay 4 so we're just going to do that I said what uh, what temperature do you want the fridge she said 3 I said, is that plus three or minus three? Because there are two threes, you know. Uh, plus three. Yeah, right, thanks very much. Just explain yourself and I'll do what you want me to do. So we're gonna stick it on B4, take the keys in, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long before we load it. I've been wasted a bit of time. can make our way to Khan Ustrem for the afternoon ferry. Right oh as you can see it's lashing down uh, well it, it, it's actually eased in the last sort of minute it was blooming ten times worse anyway we've got 33 pallets on from the uh, from the loading base over the yonder um, she's come out from the office and said I'm good to pull off so I've pulled off a bay I've got my seal ready to go on and she's getting all the um, paperwork customs documents and everything ready so I shouldn't have to go anywhere else she says uh, they produce it all here including the GMR and MRN which is good that means I can go straight back to the boat which according to my sat nav is 79 so 80 miles away um two hours i should be at the boat um then i can start wow that's an xxl oh wow you don't see many of them um uh that's thrown me that uh yeah going back to the boat um and i can uh, start my daily rest I'll do my two movements onto the boat and off of the boat uh, and probably get parked up somewhere, hopefully, where I normally do, up around Portsmouth area. Um, it'll not only finish off my 11 hours break, but I'll also have a couple of hours extra as well, so that's good. Uh, then set off early doors to my delivery in Telford for tomorrow morning. Okay, once again, we've done... Um done the checks I've already done them but just so you're aware we check up the back of the cab there uh, round the fridge obviously make sure all the lines and everything's connected check underneath check the fifth wheel clip uh, but this this was mainly an immigrant check I've already done it so I, I'm I'm rushing through it quite a bit um, check underneath nothing around the tank I've opened up the side lockers both sides um, just checking the diesel layer with three quarters of the tanks so we're all right for diesel uh, I've checked underneath checked the axles I've put the seal on the back and um, the a padlock on the rear door and the seal on the rear door uh, as I say checked underneath on the axles up inside the chassis <laughs> looked along there make sure 
nothing's visible can't see anybody anything uh, and obviously the side locker on that side so we're just going to go back into the office now check if the customs paperwork is available and if it is we'll collect that and get it our, on our way I don't think it will be because in fairness you'd have brought it out but uh, we'll go check Oh matey boy here's just uh, let me have a quick look inside his cab I didn't want to video it because he, he, uh, he wasn't too keen on the idea but he's got a sink and everything behind there massive bed it's absolutely huge you can see the length I mean my my cab finishes about here and he's got all that extra again it's a huge thing he's, uh, I think he's an owner driver he said he's had it done himself but it's massive man you, can, uh, you can't see the length of um... wow what a thing fair play hello again you join us just on the outskirts of Bayeux which is the home of the 1066 tapestry and um, I was here on holiday uh, last Yeah, yeah, it was last summer. So if I can find a couple of pictures, I'll drop them in just out of interest. Beautiful place. No good for trucks. Um, quite tight in the town centre. Extremely expensive. Uh, beautiful church, cathedral type thing. Um, but yeah, we're uh, we're 24 miles as I, as I pass the 20 kilometre mark. Uh, that's obviously for Cairn town centre. Um, we're 23 miles rather now from the Ustrium ferry port uh, after being at the Lord Point for about three and a half hours I think so we're going straight non-stop to the ferry port and once there I'll go through the scanners I'll show you going through the scanners I, I have done it on another video but to be honest I can't remember which one so for those that didn't see the last one including the um, the, the can crossing I'll do it again on this one, hopefully. Um, uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh yeah, um, yeah. I'll uh, I'll get into the port and then I know that I'm safe uh, from uh, any unwanted visitors, and I can do my checks once again on the trailer to make sure that we're all safe and sound, locks, seals, and lockers, and all the rest of it. Uh, just before we get on the boat that's due to start loading at uh, I think I think it departs at one o'clock oh, sorry starts loading at one o'clock for departure at two local time uh, and it's now eleven o'clock so I'm hoping to be there about uh, half eleven twelve o'clock should be should be fine we've run along the nationals from uh, where we loaded up near Sherbog. Shame we couldn't catch the Sherbog boat. I think I was only about 20 miles from that, but I'm not sure what time it goes. And I think the haulier that we're doing this load for has a deal with um, the Cairn ferry. Probably because they ship so much through it, they'll uh, they'll get it cheaper and include it in the price. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you a bit more when we when we get a bit closer. I mean, every load this, I'll tell you. Wow, we. I wouldn't have thought yogurt would be this heavy, but um, it said it's 23 ton, and it certainly feels it. Probably one of the heaviest, if not the heaviest load I've had on this back. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you a bit more when we get closer to car, what's going on, and um, go getting into the port, etc. Right, here we are coming into Austria. We've got this clown in a motorhome in front of us doing, uh, he's not even doing 30 miles an hour, which is the limit on here. But um, in all honesty, when I'm coming on here, because the um, immigrants uh, hide almost anywhere along this road, I keep a fair bit of gap, like so much, um, so that when I'm coming to places like this roundabout or traffic lights or whatever, at the roundabout, I take can, the third exit to D84. I can I uh, can keep going, you know. I don't I don't want to stop for any reason at all. Like he's going to make me stop now, look. And I don't want to. I want to keep going. 
whatever happens, I want to keep going because they'll come out with them Take trees. The exit to D84. Or from the side of the road and just be on your trailer. And uh, that's what we don't want. In half a mile, turn right onto Place du General de Gaulle. <laughs> Well, as you can see from that, uh, we're um, <laughs> we're right as far forward as you can go with inches to spare. Uh, if you look down in the um, in the front mirror there, and the curb mirror alongside, and all the other mirrors, so it must be a fairly full boat. Saying that, they have got that lane uh, alongside me still free, which is good in a way because um, it means I can get out. Anyway. We've done a ferry move to get on. We'll do a ferry move again to get off. I've only used seven minutes because you'll you'll need boatloads of time the other side. Ah, boatloads of time. You'll need a load of time the other side at uh, Portsmouth because they're pathetic. And um, I'm going to get up to my parking place and then get sorted out. So all that's left now is to head upstairs. Uh, I'm not going to go to the cabin straight away. I'm going to take my stuff up and have a shower later on. Um, probably a couple of hours kip and then... Uh, might have might have tea tonight, I don't know. Let's see how I feel. Uh that's about it really. Here we are coming into a rainy Portsmouth. There's the Spinnaker. Um I think it's called the Spinnaker Tower. Sorry, I'm looking through a thick plate glass window. The rain running down it. Um, just about an hour delay due to the weather. Obviously we're sheltered this side because of the Isle of Wight and uh, coming into the harbour. But we should be disembarking within the next 25 minutes. I'm probably going to be delayed maybe, I don't know, probably 20 minutes on top of that because of where I'm parked and then have to go up to uh, go through customs and the scanner and then get parked up. So hopefully that'll be as quick as possible. Okay, so we've, uh, we've manoeuvred across a bit. The issue now is I don't want to uh, bottom out the back end of the trailer on the bottom of the ramp. Drivers, couldn't care less. Uh, no regard for anybody's health or safety or anything. And now, considering we've got uh, 50 odd minutes to get packed up and through all the customs formalities and everything. This is where this place is just an absolute joke because they have everybody queuing here, look, and nothing's moving or going through or anything. It's just absolutely shambles. In a quarter of a mile, turn left onto M275, then keep right. Turn left onto M275, then okay. keep right. Join the queue in the lanes that's too narrow and just keep moving up. That's all we can do.
Right, so when we pull off the uh, ramp of the boat, the guys will direct us into that sort of holding area that you saw there. Um, the problem then is you have to cross some lanes of traffic and join this queue, this side. So they'll they'll hold you there, then direct you and tell you when to cross. And then you pull into these lanes uh, and you go up to passport control. You'll either get a, a, a green light, so to speak, to go straight out, which I'm hoping for, though I've never had yet. Or they'll tell you to go through the scanner, which is another queuing system. So all you do then is bear round to the left follow the road round and it goes right round through the scanner as you come out of the scanner you hand them the big A4 piece of paper that you got from the other side which they stamp you come back through to the exit gate you just follow the road back round and it comes out at the exit gate uh, you hand that piece of paper in and they see that it's been stamped and they let you go and you're straight out onto the road which is the good thing about Portsmouth the bad thing is this shambles here but we've all to do it so um, there's not a lot I can do but uh, when it comes to ferry mode and all the rest of it this just makes a mockery of it somebody from the government would be wise to come down here and just have a look at reality this bit gets to a bit of a bun fight here look risk it and follow this fella with a bit of luck pull up here, just give them the uh, document and they'll tell us what to do. Hello, Hello there! Do you need that? Thank you. She's, uh, she's sending us to the scanner, which I thought she would. That's no problem. Take the slip road on the left to M275 toward M27. So we just follow this um, follow this road round. I think you follow the red red line, but it looks like there's uh, yeah, it's parked in the way, so we can't quite do that. He's letting me go, is he? Yeah, good man. Turn right onto Whale Island Way, then take the first left. Ooh, looks to be fairly sharpish through here tonight, which is good. Follow it round, follow it round, follow it round. Then we crawl through the scanner. And um, as I say, they'll. Oh, no deal at all. Good deal. Uh, yeah, they'll stamp Turn our left onto Wharf Road, ticket. then take the slip road on the left. When we come out, so 